Now, I want to solve this same question using another method. Now, look at this circuit. What is the reading on the ammeter when the switch is open? Now, this is the switch. This is the switch. So when the switch is open, then this right hand side of the circuit is completely isolated. So we focus only on this part of the circuit. And from this part of the circuit, the reading of the ammeter is the current flowing in this circuit. How do I find the current flowing in that circuit? I will use Ohm's law. V equal to I R. Where V is the EMF of the cell, which is this 24 volts. I is the current, which is the reading of the ammeter. And R is the resistance, which is this R1 I have here. Take note that this side has been isolated, okay? By opening the cell, by opening the switch, this part does not exist anymore. So focusing on this side, I will have um, V, my voltage is 24 volts, my current is the unknown, which I do not have. The R is the resistance R1, and R1 is 8. So if 24 is equal to I multiplied by 8, how do I find I? I will divide both sides by 8. 8 will cancel 8, I will have I is equal to 24 divided by 8, 3 amperes. That's all. So I've gotten the reading of the ammeter when the switch is open. Now let's go to the deep part. What is the reading on the ammeter when the switch is closed or on? When the switch is closed, let's represent the diagram. When the switch is closed, so this acts as a simple conductor. And what do you have? You have a parallel circuit. Two resistors are parallel. So how do you find the reading on the ammeter? Take note that the current flowing here, that's what the ammeter will read. And that current is split into I1 and I2. I1 will flow through resistor R1 and I2 will flow through resistor R2. To make our work easier, we will decide to find I1 and I2. So when you find I1, I will find I2. Then we add them together. That will give us the I, which is what the ammeter will need. Let us find I1. Um, you know, V equals to I R, that is Ohm's law. Okay? Take note that this 24 volts, that is what this R1 will see. This same 24 volts, that is what R2 will see. Okay? The voltage across R1 is 24 volts. Also, the voltage across R2 is 24 volts. Volts. So let's go. 24. So V equals to I1 multiplied by R1. Yeah. V is 24 volts, which is 24, equals to I1. R1 is 8. Let's divide. To find I1, we divide both sides by 8. Okay? So I have I1 equal to 24 divided by 8. I get 3. I1 is 3 amperes. We use the same formula to find I2. You know, V equals to I2 R2. Where V is the same 24 volts. That's what R2 we also have. The voltage across R2 is also 24 volts. So I have 24 equals to I2 multiplied by what's our R2? Our R2 is this resistor, also 8 ohms, multiplied by 8. To find I2, I will divide both sides by 8. So, 8 will cancel 8. I have I2. 24 divided by 8, 3 amps. Now, how do I get the value of I? I is I1 plus I2. Yes, this point I is the sum of I1 and I2. Because when I1 and I2 combine here, that will give us I. And it will flow through the cell and it will be read by the ammeter. It will flow through the battery and it will be read by the ammeter. So these are current I, which is the sum of I1 and I2. I1 is 3, I2 is 3, so our I will be 3 plus 3, and that's equal to 6 amperes. And that is what the ammeter will read. That brings us to the end of resistors in parallel. 
Let us solve one question on resistance in series. Resistance in series. So let me remove this so we quickly put the question on the board and then we solve it together. Resistance in series. So I'll just modify this circuit to look like this. Let's make it 4 ohms to make my work easier. Now you have to find So in this case, you have to find the current flowing in the circuit, then you find the voltage across each of the resistor. Find the current flowing in the circuit, then find the voltage across R1, find the voltage across R2, find the voltage across R3. Take note that in this circuit, this 24 volts will be split and shared across the resistors. That is one common thing about resistors in series. Okay? As for resistors in series, the voltage, the EMF from the cell or from the battery will be shared. Okay? So it's, they, won't, they won't all see 24 volts. The voltage across this is not 24 volts. No. Voltage across R1 plus R2 plus R3 is 24 volts. And that 24 volts will be shared, distributed among this resistor. Let's start by finding the current. How do you find the current? We find the current by using Ohm's law V equals to IR. Take note that the R is the effective resistance. Okay? How do you find the effective resistance of a series circuit? If resistors are connected in series, the effective resistance is the sum of the of each each of the resistors. I mean, you sum all of the resistors together. Yeah, you sum the resistances of each resistor. This is what I mean. Effective resistance is R1 plus R2 plus R3. So our effective resistance is R1, which is 2, plus R2, which is 4, plus R3, which is 4. 2 plus 4 plus 4, you get the ohms. That's effective resistance. How do we get the current in the circuit? From the from Ohm's law, V equals to I R E, the voltage is 24. The voltage is 24. What's the current? We do not know. What's the effective resistance? Effective resistance is 10 ohms. So how do you find I? Divide both sides by 10. So that means I equals 24 divided by 10, you get 2.4 amperes. Okay? Yes. So with this, our I, you can find the voltage across each of the resistor. How do you find the voltage across each of the resistor? You know, the same current I, the same current of 2.4 amperes, 
the same height of 2.4 amperes will flow through the entire circuit. So when that 2.4 amperes flows through the entire circuit, it will produce a voltage V1 across R1. It will produce a voltage V2 across R2. And it's also a produce, it will produce a voltage V3 across R3. What's voltage across R1? We use Ohm's law. You know, find the voltage across R1, R2, and R3. How do I find the voltage across R1? B. The voltage across R1 equals to I multiplied by R1, which is the expression of Ohm's law. V is equal to I R. So V1 equals V1, that voltage across R1. Let me put it as V1. So V1, which is voltage across R1, will be the current flowing in the circuit multiplied by R1 itself. Okay? So let me multiply. What's the current? 2.4. What is R1? 2. 2.4 multiplied by 2, you get 4.8. So V1 is equal to 4.8 volts. Okay? Let me just put the symbol V volts. That is I. I I. I'm looking for V2. V2 equals to I R2. Yes, according to Ohm's law. So V2 equals I. The point I is 2.4. Multiply by R2. R2 is 4. So if I multiply 2.4 by 4, what will I get? 2.4 multiplied by 4. What times 4 is 16. 6 times 1. 4 times 2 is 8 plus 1, 9. 9.6 volts. That's the voltage that causes it. So, how do I get the voltage that causes it? That's the voltage that causes R2. How do I get the voltage that causes R3? The voltage that causes R3 is V3, and V3 is I R3. And that's equal to 2.4 multiplied by R3 is also 4. So, that means V3 equals to. 9.6 volts. Now, there's one common thing about resistors in series. If you add the voltage across all the resistors, add them together, you get the EMF of the cell, 24 volts. What do I mean? V1 plus V2 plus V3. Add them together, you must get the EMF, 24 volts. So now, this is for you to cross-check. Add the voltage across V1, which is 4.8. Add it to the voltage across V2, 9.6. Also, add to the voltage across V3, which is 9.6. So what I'm saying is add this three, 4.8 plus 9.6 plus 9.6. Add them up and check if you get the same value as the EMF of the cell, which is 24 volts. That is how you cross check if your answer is correct. If you get 24, that means I have solved the question correctly. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching the video. Ensure you subscribe to this YouTube channel and keep watching the video. So you keep learning and you make good grades in your exam. Do have a nice day. See you some other time. Goodbye.